Good morning and happy homecoming dance day. PRA is today, this morning. The Seahawks welcome the Panthers. If you look at the coaches, a legendary name coached the Panthers. One of the smartest coaches in the league, in my opinion, John Fox, coaching at Carolina. M. Holgren, Holmgren is coaching the Seahawks. So, yeah, game four as we look at the game results yesterday, if you missed them, the Chargers lost to the Patriots in a pretty epic fashion. Um, the Eagles shocked the world by beating the Packers. And the Steelers kicked the crap out of us. Good morning from Questfield, ladies and gentlemen. Game four of round one of the Madden 07 tournament pits the Carolina Panthers against the Seattle Seahawks. Gorgeous morning. The teams have taken the field, and they're getting ready to kick this one off. Number seven. You know, he kicked this one. Seattle will be the uh, receiving team on this one. This one. Baker will put this one in the air. Doink. From the 12. The 12-yard line, using his blockers, brought out around there. Hasselback takes a snap. He's got a weapon named Sean Alexander in the backfield. Hasselback drops and throws bullet pass. Incomplete. Knocks the referee out. Second and ten. Panthers in a four three formation. Hasselback looks. Wow. Almost a pick. Live looking to the coach's booth. Make this guy throw it before he's ready. The coordinated booth. This is one of the loudest stadiums in the NFL. In fact, this actually got into the Guinness Book of World Records for having for the noise level being loud enough to start a freaking earthquake. I may be incorrect on that statement. Please fact check me in the comments. And it's caught. Seahawks off to the races. Touchdown. Touchdown, Seattle. Seattle draws first blood. Kicks is up. Kick is good. Nate Burleson is a sprint key player of the drive. Will be 
Brown with the kickoff. Now let's see what Carolina's offense is going to do. Ball on the 26 as number 17 up to the line. Seahawks adjusting their defensive line in a nickel package. Throws. Ooh, nearly an interception. Second and ten. Get the late handoff there. Now it's third and an undetermined number. Third and six. Hands off. Try play play action. Looking for an open man. Sacked deep and complete fourth. See number seventeen getting. Um, Looking like they're in the huddle, but they're going to get the punting the the now. Stand there and now it away after a three and out. Punt is up. And this one's going to be out of bounds. Approximately a 28. the back of the man in motion. Hands off to Madno 7 cover boy in the middle of the mosh pit. The offense has been pass oriented so far, so I can't make any assumptions. Pass the back of the... Oh, wow. Big hit. As soon as he got the ball, there was a defender in his face to knock him down. Yeah, you think. Third and nine. Great opportunity for Seattle here to go pass hard. Go short. And fourth down. That's a great yeah, it's like the 24 yard line. Everybody apparently walks like an old man in the mad Fourth and ten. The first time Seattle has had to punt today. And it'll be a short one. Fielded, breaks the tackle, breaks two of them. First and ten. And short game that time. When you run the ball in the first half, you're trying to keep the defense on. But if you're only getting games like that in the second half, then it puts more pressure on your passing game. Game two. Second and eight. Second and eight. Gets it off, off to the races, breaks a tackle, stopped probably about 14. 
He blew right through the defense. The offensive line dominated the defensive line there, and they sprang the run. Hands off and breaks tackle, short game. Wow, one, one rush yard by Seattle. Twelve yards to get it in for the touchdown. Throws. Out of bounds. Ball is on the twelve yard line. And the Panthers line up. Throws. Got the first. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is. They recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the cap. And first and goal. This should be an easy punch in for Carolina. Touchdown, Carolina. Four yard touchdown pass. They're going to tie this one up. Seven seven. And Deshaun Foster, player the drive. Hope you guys are enjoying your breakfast with us as we have a thriller possible in store. Seattle, Carolina are tied 7 all. Seattle is going to return the kick. And is brought down with a small run. Hasselback does the handoff to Sean Alexander. Gets the first. Ingram sends a man. Panthers adjust accordingly. Hands it to Sean Alexander. Definitely a short stop there. And apparently number 38 likes to barrel roll. Two-yard pickup. Looking around, um, I definitely like Quest Field's design. Well, now it's CenturyLink Field. It was the whole past the present logo for the Seahawks when it was green and they changed it to a bit of a darker blue. It's just some of the dumber things I've noticed. Throws it incomplete. Looks like one of the Carolina defenders was calling for a flag there. Um, definitely saw his arms outstretched. Third and eight. Seattle is going to try to go for it. 
here on third. Alexander hands it off to and is just short of the fourth down. Of the first. Time to get the punter out. Hasselback looking listening to his uh, coach, M. Holgren. Or Holmgren. Ten seconds left in the quarter. Smith to receive. Carolina calls for the fair catch. And it's a touchback. Ball on the 20. One second left. I wouldn't try to freak out and go for it here. Just uh, my opinion. Launches it deep. Caught. End of the first. Carolina 7. Seattle 7. So, yeah, first and ten. So, first and ten. Delhomme with uh, three completions, six attempts, 50 yards. Hands off play action. Dumps it to the left. Tries to break some tackles. Great play. Second and three. Short pass. Over. The catch is made. Offensive mode yards here. It's been pretty much dead even in total. Between Carolina and Seattle. Carolina's had 91, Seattle's had 92. Only one man in motion. Alright. Second and long. Second and 11. Seahawks in a four man front. Number 26 with a big run. Stop. Let's look at the running back from a comparison again between Foster and Alexander. It's uh, been kind of close. I like it. Third and seven. I feel like the passes of the NFC matches that have been the case so far have been pretty good matchups. Just the AFC, the strictly AFC matches have been, well, basically double digit blowouts. Like yesterday, um, the Patriots won by 18 over San Diego, and then. Steelers won by 10 over the Broncos. And back to the game. Carolina gets a good run there. Seattle uh, morphs through a ref. Our poor ref is getting scored so hard in this game. Second and four. By the way, later today at the Ravens game, the Ravens and Rams game is part of the slate. This is a touchdown for Carolina. Later today, there will be a with the Rams. There will be a halftime performance, just like last night with Pittsburgh. I am, um, I am thinking of doing Foo Fighters this time. Either Foo Fighters, Bruce Springsteen, or uh, Daughtry again. Except to doing two yesterday, like we did with the Broncos, I'm gonna do probably one, do one instead of two. Um, by the way, the Carolina just took the lead, 14-7. Let them get going early. They 
Steve Smith, the legendary Steve Smith. 39 receiving yards, one catch. Who cares? He got the touch. He's the key player of the drive. Seattle, I'm going to try to answer this one. First down, definitely Carolina has been more effective. I've said that under the guidance of head coach Don Fox, that's they have kind of got. They if guided this young team out of just being a bunch of idiots throwing balls around to a legit NFL team, and I like it. Short stop. However, a thing to note when I was uh, looking at predictions for this morning's game, um, a lot of people are pointing to Seattle as the favorite for the weapons like Sean Alexander and uh, Matt Hasselback. Panthers in a 4-3. Sean Alexander splits some people. He gets the first down. Sees the handoff, looks, throws, show, wow. That was almost bad. Two minute warning coming up shortly, and I'm honestly surprised in the four games we've ran so far. This is, there's no involvement. Just an interceptions have been surprisingly low. Well. And uh, oh, by the way, the winner of this game gets to face Brady on the road. Almost at the two minute warning, by the way. Panthers go wide. Hasselback goes deep. Caught. Seattle, Carolina misses him. Touchdown, Seattle. Wow. You see the replay right there. It's like the first guy when he tackled just didn't even try. It's like he dove and just like, Ugh. And by the way, everything's tied up going into the half, it looks like. From the eight, and it looks like it gets close to probably mid thirties. So, Seahawks in the 4 3. Caught! Almost a pick! Tatupupu. Tatupu. Especially in our hurried situation. 
Second and ten. Caught. Looks. Throws short. And gets back up. Ball still alive. First down. Carolina going into no huddle. They're going to have to commit. And it's a sack. Fourth and one. Chad Baker with the. Uh, he's ready to punt this one away. He's ready to punt this one. Seattle man deep to return. Kick is up. Breaks. And from 23, short game. All right. So, uh, first and ten. Hasselback looks, throws, caught. Off to the races every time, most of the times that Hasselback has gone for his receivers, it's been difficult for Carolina's defense to get him. Seattle going into a no huddle. Just a reminder that later today at 1, this will be, be a bit earlier than yesterday, the Falcons will take on the Buffalo Bills, and then it's... And then at five, the uh, Ravens will take on the Rams. That's the back looks. Sean Alexander breaks through. Touchdown, Seahawks. Amazing work there by uh, Sean Alexander. Julius Peppers had a tough time getting to him. Brown comes in for the extra point. Brown with the extra point. Extra point Kick is up, over. and it's good. It's a one-score game between Seattle and Carolina. These guys kept their eye on the end zone. Nate Burleson is the key wide receiver. I'm sorry, key player of, the, of that last drive. Number three. I'm ready to kick this one off. Carolina back deep to return. It's fielded. Everybody finds their man, use their blockers, and the Panthers are going to set up shop 34. They're down right now, but if they score before the half, it'll really help them out. They just can't afford a turnover because the other team a chance for three straight. So, uh, yeah, what John Madden said. First and 10, Carolina 34. Number 17 looks, throws way to the left, out of bounds. Ball in the 44. Second and 10. Seahawks in the 4-3. 17 looks, goes, first down. By the way, uh, Carolina called a timeout. Forgot to mention that. Number 17, Delhomme takes the snap. Goes short. 
brand. It's hot for a short game. Carolina calls another timeout. Seattle has those two extra. Panthers are down to one. And stop short. Carolina going into the no huddle. Gallahan looks. Tries to look for his open man. Throws short. And break, tries to break it, but gets stopped at about the 21. 15 seconds and counting. In Carolina tight before the half. Looks. Caught. Carolina's got no timeouts. It means it's going to have to go here. Number four you know, for the field goal. To be an easy chip in. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. Keyshawn Johnson was the key player of the drive, uh, the Sprint NFL Drive. Uh, a sprint NFL Mobile, key player of the drive. Um, five seconds left in the half. In the Ram FYI, the Rams versus Ravens game, there will be a halftime performance and a toss up between any of the three artists. Um, that much earlier Daughtry, Bruce Springsteen, or Foo Fighters. So, uh, one second left. Should be the last play. Um, barring any major disasters. Actually, this is going to be the last play right now. And that is it. Seattle up by a narrow margin, so two safeties over Carolina. So, uh, here we go. The return. Carolina trying to break through and you stop just short of 30, it looks like. Well, John, it's a close game, but neither defense is at the top of its game. I'm pretty surprised myself. I thought for sure we are going to see a lot of three and outs today. Neither of these defenses have been able to do what they went out here to do. Definitely a accurate observation there. Delholm looks, throws, and there's uh, Steve Smith. Hopefully he's trying to scratch his nose there. Seahawks in a four-man formation. Looks for his man. That's he had stripped down big time. Wow. Ball on the twenty-eight. The Carolina Panthers have not really done much of anything on this drive. Everybody's been playing to Carolina as the underdogs. Fourth down. Baker. And ready for his third point. Unable to get anything going on that series. They'll have to punt it away here. And it's caught. And it's miffed. 
Defensive reco has recovered it. It was a dead ball when Seattle miffed it, which is exactly what the Panthers needed. First and ten. This is a blessing in disguise for Carolina. And throws short and sets his man first down. Four man formation. Penalty on Carolina looks like it's a uh, dead ball foul. Ball starts are kind of frustrating because they're really easily avoided by just maintaining focus. First and 15, which um, kind of attracts the point made earlier about the West in the skies. There's it short. Somebody's going to be open downfield. And that's exactly what happened on that play. It's second, second down and five. Ball on the 19 yard line. Hey, hey, hey. They keep the field goal. Second and five. On, last time Carolina was on the drive, they got three, but could they try to go for seven or six? Third and six. Um, each of these teams have been 50 50 on third down. Looks like sacked, fourth down. Carolina couldn't make anything happen on that myth punt by Seattle. Casey getting ready for his second field goal. Casey needs the field goal for the attempt. It's up. It's good. That kick is good, and it's his second field goal of the game. So the field goal caps off the first drive of the second half. So now the Seahawks and Panthers are just one point away. Games like this I love. Because I have, strictly because of how close, uh, close these two teams are. Kick is up. This one is fielded by Stover. And tries to break the tackle and gets close to midfield. Drew Carter with a hand injury is going quickly to the sidelines. First and ten. Looks for a man, throws, caught, clean pass, first down, Seahawks. Look at this, Hasselback, wide open. Sean Alexander definitely knew what he was doing. First and ten. First and ten. Yesterday we were... Uh, Two for three on road teams winning today. Can Carolina continue that road team streak? And he throws it. It's like y'all are afraid of catching the ball on defense. Uh, one for the eye. 
Hasselback to Alexander. Play fake. Hasselback looks, and it's caught by the same guy. Live look back in the coordinated booth. Third and five. Uh, Ruth Carter sprained his wrist. So on that day. Uh, he plans to return to this game. Asselback looks, throws it almost that way again. The seven yard field goal attempt for Seattle. Definitely the longest field goal of the day. So you can make it a four point game. So basically, two safeties. Pick is up, and it's good. Nice kick. Sean Alexander is the sprint key player of the drive. Sprint. Together with Nextel. Pick is up. This punt looks hopefully not to be miffed. Fair catch. Eight yards. Stiff arm. Breaks three defenders. Gets brought down about 42. I'm sorry, I'm 40. Johnson in motion. You can hear the uh, audibles of the Seattle defense trying to call for a block. Gain a two on the play. And while we're here, we'll go to go to the sounds of the game presented by Madden NFL 2007. Madden NFL 2007. Back when EA actually cared about its customers. First and ten. One man in the back. Another short game. Going to the eye, play action, looks deep, caught. Peterson has been the stop machine for Seattle that they needed. If uh, that's the case. They need uh, seven yards to punch it in. Tries to break through. No. Defense. Now Panthers have been third and seven. Third Three for seven. And fourth down. So now this is going to be a uh, one point game, which looks like it might be 
that might be what this comes down to if things keep going the way they are. So there's 20 seconds left in the half in the quarter. Um, 10. Kick is up. Kick is good. Steve Smith, key player, made the catch for uh, 34 yards earlier. It was that pass from Delholm to Steve Smith. Kick is up. From the 12 yard line. This one hasn't been decided yet. Each of these teams is going to be very well on the other sides of the ball. So I could see this one get decided by whoever has the last possession. So five seconds left for Seattle. I mean, they have the entire quarter, but they want to pad their lead. Sean Alexander pushes off some defenders. Incremental gain. A one point nail biter in Seattle. Wow. This might come down to touchdown or field goal. Second and six. Seattle deep in their territory. Drops the play action. Sack. Short pass. Fumble. Carolina recovers. Like that, throwing it, nice catch, and Carolina got first down. Is looking at a live shot of the far left side of Quest Field. So after that nice catch and run, here's a look at the stats. Carolina may be do, doing the unthinkable and seeing the mighty, mighty Seahawks from uh, possibly moving on to round two of the tournament bracket. So far, if you remember from yesterday's games, the Patriots moved on, which was a no-brainer. Um, the Eagles moved on, which was also a no-brainer. The Steelers moved on. Um, so far, it looks like if game, the game were to end now and Seattle were to hold on, Seattle would be playing New England. And by the way, times for round two will be released as soon as round one is complete the playoff of the tournament. We're calling this a tournament. And throws it. Caught. This is a guy who comes to play. He seems to make big catches when they really need it. This time they needed to convert on third down. He's there for the reception and the first down. Five yard gain for Carolina, by the way. Um, Delhomme huddling with his team. Got the plan radioed in from John Fox. Delhomme looks, throws short. 
Touchdown, Panthers. The underdogs so far trying to hold their own against Seattle. Amidst all this. So now it's 29-24. So at this point, if Seattle scores, they'd be down by two. It's, oh, by the way, Carolina's going for the two point. Hands it off. And the conversion is no good. And it's a fumble again. Carolina recovers. And there's an injury, and Seattle's going to challenge the fumble. My M. Holgren is not happy. So right here, you see, he got it, and then he came down. He had control, then he came loose when he was down on the ground. It's kind of hard to tell, so. 39 gets brought down, up in the air, and he had control. He was on top of the Carolina player. No fumble occurred. Carol Seattle is going to get the ball. Awkward silence. However, Seattle is going to be in their own territory. Eric Pertitz. Looks like since so there's like. One, this is the final quarter. He'll probably be back next game against New England if Seattle were to win. So, take good note of that. Three minutes and five seconds left. Alexander Stiff Arms gets short of the first. Second and three. Hasselback. Hands to Alexander. Alexander gets the first. And Alexander tries handoff again. Short game. Good stop. Some of these guys are faking they just run over the defender. A lot of the guys wait until the defender commits, and they use a move or a juke or a spin to get out of the tackle. Hassel back with the catch and gets brought down. So you see Seattle likes to – Hasselback likes passing to his left receiver – which works, but at the same time, you can't always rely on them because what if Carolina swarms them? The yards that these receivers make after the catch are a great indication of their physical ability. It shows that they are great, but they can trade yards by using their speed and making the defenders miss tackle. Right. 
It's first and ten. So first and ten. Two minutes left. Seattle down by five. Makes a recipe for a thriller, doesn't it? Alexander goes way to the left. And he's out for the at the thirty-one. And Carolina loves to go for that. That nice their uh, defense. They they are look favored as the underdogs in this game in this current game right now. Doing everything they can to hold Seattle back. Hasselback throws short. Brought down as Seattle calls for a timeout. And this is a huge implications. Hasselback with a shoulder injury. This is a big blow to Seattle's offense. Senko Wallace is on the field. See what Senko can do. Can Carolina hold on? In the minute 50, Senko throws. And it's penalty on Carolina. Pass interference. They accept a penalty, which is uh, definitely not what Carolina needed because look who's in the, their territory. And, uh, oh, by the way, touchdown Sean Alexander. Seattle back in the game. Actually, both teams, I want to give huge credit. They've been playing their hearts out pretty much all game. Uh, it's been a lot of back and forth. Um, Hasselback with a dislocated shoulder. He, um, he'll be back in two quarters, so he'll be back in the next game. Senka gets the two-point conversion. So this means Carolina's going to have to kick three to tie it up. Or score six for the t to win the game. And Seattle kicks it off. Carolina, the return. Nine yard line, taking advantage of those blockers. And short stop. The quarterback's going to be the guy making this thing happen. He should realize that there's still a lot of time left. There's a lot of time, but you want to make something happen here to avert a possibly really stressful overtime situation. Because remember, you lose, you out. Del Delhomme is just short of the first. There you go, no huddle. Delhomme looks short. Wow. So, uh, third down efficiency. Panthers have been pretty good at that. And Seahawks in the nickel. Panthers get the first. More no huddle for Carolina. Del home throws incomplete. Minute twelve. Carolina looked at as the underdogs in this tournament. Remember, whoever wins this game gets home field advantage to against New England. Delhomme in the gun. 
drops, throws short, batted away. Minute nine. I believe Carolina might be in field goal range. Um, they've, as we look at the uh, conversion, 50-50 um, for Carolina. They've either done it or they haven't. Um, Delholm looks, and he throws deep, caught, first down. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what Carolina needed. One minute. Delholm, in the no huddle situation, I'm guessing you learned that from Peyton Manning. Fake handoff, throws, no coverage, batted away, nearly picked off. They need a big play here if they want to have a remote chance of winning this game. Carolina may be down by three as the underdog, but second and ten. Delhomme's going to not have to be like yesterday with Plummer and Rivers get frustrated and start throwing to deep coverage because we know how that goes. Throws it way deep. First down, off to the races. Carolina just got a touchdown. Steve Smith, and this is exactly what the underdog Panthers needed. A little guidance of John Fox, turning themselves from again. A bunch of idiots that like to throw a pigskin around and kill each other. And you see the chain gang running down to the other side of the field. Um, it was the whole John Fox thing. Under the guidance of John Fox, the Panthers have basically turned into what was a high school team, basically, to a legit NFL team. Here we go for the extra point. Kick is up, and it's good. I would look for Seattle to blitz the crap out of the – and just go balls deep every time. I would look for uh, – I'll sit back to that every time. And Jason Baker to kick this one. Wow, nice scruff kick. Seattle picks it up. And it's a mosh pit. Breaks through some tacklers. One man to beat. Gets brought down just short of the 40. 33 seconds. If you're Matt Hasselbeck, throw to the middle. There's always that good chance your receiver's going to cut from there to there. One bad in motion. Senko Wallace looks. Pumps. Caught. Batted away. Carolina holding on by four. 20 seconds. Can Senko Wallace win it for his team? Sack. Seattle calling the timeout. That is their second. Trying to get info from what play uh, his head coach wants him to run. Drops back. Looks. Looks. It was short. Throws it at a, at a guy's butt. So, if you think about it, 20 seconds, look for uh, Senka to throw a Hail Mary. Drops back, looks, 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 runs, throws, gets stuffed, gets the long ball, and it's a turnover on downs. So now Carolina has the ball, and... 
with 14 seconds left and four points. What can you do? Click on the victory formation. Seattle calls a timeout. It's their last one. Delhomme getting info from John Fox, which I'm guessing he told him to do a victory formation. Thirteen seconds, penalty. Um, Frochman on the play. As uh, just a, a memo here, whoever wins gets to play New England, and if Seattle loses, which looks like they are, are going to be, um, they are done. They, there's no second chance for them. And Carolina goes into the knee. Six and eleven, third down conversion on this play, and it's over. Carolina Panthers are the underdogs, and they unseat the mighty mighty Seahawks. Final score: Carolina Panthers thirty-six, Seattle Seahawks thirty-two. I guess John Fox is uh, was a blessing in disguise. Because the stuff he did with the Broncos and he stu the stuff he did with the Panthers has been impressive. He basically turned crap into gold. Final score, Panthers are the underdogs. They come through on top, 36 to 32. We know the first game of round two now um, is the Patriots just obviously destroyed the Chargers yesterday. Now they're on the road against Carolina. Figure out that matchup. So, the Panthers and Seahawks. Panthers move on and get home advantage. Later today at 1 I've updated the time from 1 o'clock up to 1.45. The Atlanta Falcons on the road are going to take on the Bills. My prediction, Falcons one, one to what? Michael Vick. And then at 5.30, the Ravens welcome the Rams. And the games after that rest around 1.00. The Raiders and the Titans, my prediction there. I think the Raiders are going to come up on top strictly because John Gruden isn't running them to the ground. My prediction here, the Ravens. Why? Their defense. In this game, my prediction, Texans and Buccaneers. Buccaneers. Move on to the Steelers. My prediction here, if the Panthers played like they did earlier, Carolina can move on. If Tom Brady is Tom Brady, oh yeah, New England, no question. So, 145, Bills, Falcons, 